equipment that we put in here now is, is pretty much state of the art. It doesn't get any better than this. Uh, for you know, it's not what it lacks in size. It, it more than makes up for in capability. Everything is touch screen. Uh, everything on here that you need to go to pick up phone lines. Everything is able to be touched on here and operated either with a mouse or keyboard. Um, the system is capable of receiving 911 um, telecommunications. Uh, it's complete with any alley display, which is the caller information, so it's capable of enhanced 911. Our radar, there's a pretty severe thunderstorm cell, and then what we're able to do is come down here and get a close scan of just a portion of it, and then bring it into an area. If we were concerned, you can see that there's a Look down on it, there's a southeast west map. So we would have points on here if this was in a Lombard, we'd have marked like we do up here. We'd be able to go able to go into it and look at heights and thousands of feet. When there's actually a tornadic activity, you'll actually see a, a big uh, increase in uh, green colors or, or cool colors, which are winds blowing inbound towards the radar screen, and then warm colors or reds, which are winds outbound away from the radar site. And where we have a, a, a hot color next to a really cool color that, don't, that don't pretty much uh, gives you a uh, distinction that there's rotation in the storm and that's how sometimes it that's how they're able to issue tornado warnings now without an actual tornado